guys check this place out. Oh my God. behind me it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be mad everything I try and do I'm gonna be quiet because not far that way and that way there's houses as you can see guys check this out it's completely overgrown wow look guys would you expect this to be so overgrown it's absolutely crazy man <laughs> it's just thick Woodlands. It's in the woods, it's in the woods boys. It's woods house, it? Miles away head to the chopper. <laughs> head to the chopper. <laughs> so guys, heading around this building before we go in, just to show you. This place is like completely overgrown. Look at this. You can't even work out the sheer size until we go in. There's another door there. Another part of the house. Guys, I can't even make my way around there. We need to get in this place. We need to show you what's inside. This is absolutely crazy. I love explorers like this. Look at this. Completely. It's like a church style door. It's an old school house. So guys, coming through the front door already. It's power, look at this. The churchy style windows carry on. Maybe this was a church at one point. There's a little donation tin there. So stepping into the hallway of this place, as you can see by the flooring, this place has seen better days. It's absolutely rotten. Imagine this beautiful floor all polished up on its grand day and the sun just beaming through these windows that are now completely blocked, as you can see by nature. It's just absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna go left, I'm gonna head down here. Again, look, just walking along the first hallway, the little corridor bit off of the main hall. I'm greeted by absolutely loads of books. Look at this. History of every day, things of England. This is mad. <laughs> Old Prit sticks glue. Literally buckling up from the damp. So I'm obviously I'm here with two other explorers, which we will see in a minute, hence why the tripod's here. But 
look at this. That stuff's completely just left in it. Shame there's not a maker or a date on it, we can see like just how old it is. What we got here? What are we gonna watch tonight? Fantasia, Disney. And they're a little bit on this place. It's, I believe it's been empty since the 90s. I'm not exactly sure when, but it was used by I believe as like a private school. And what is that? Record. But standing here, as you can see, every window is completely taken by nature. You just literally can't look out and see how much land is actually sitting on this place. There's so much stuff. The old Peter Rabbit tins. I used to love the old tins. painting hanging on the wall. So I'm out with John, Hello, mate. one of the explorers. You making tea? So John's made us a cup of tea guys, like we're literally gonna have a little cook-off program, so. So tonight, what are we gonna have for dinner? What are we having? We've got some uh, very decayed apple juice. I'm gonna bring you pick something up. 2010, so that just kind of gives you the experience of nine years. 2010. So we're going to go with nine years, guys, because obviously, obviously the food on the side. What do you want to eat? What do you want? We'll cook you whatever you want. What do you fancy? <laughs> A bit of dust. A bit of dust. So guys, check out he, uh, John. He's obviously started up. Uh, well, not just started up, but he's got a drone. What's it called? Uh, Morgan Shots. Morgan Shots. Check him out on his uh, YouTube and his Instagram. Explore with John. Yes. Yes. Good. So back to the house of decay. As you can see, look. Just by these are 2010, and look, you can just see from the dust underneath how long these have actually sat here and things look have just not moved. That had been moved. But here, look, it's this Marmite. <laughs> and the date of the Marmite is, where is Marmite date? Oh, there you go. So that's really strange because that is July 06. And that hasn't been moved, you can see, for a long time. All right, okay, so. The worst stuff, the mold. I'm gonna keep away from that. Look at the door there. You seen the door? It's completely barricaded with mould. There's stuff there just everywhere. And the covers, everything's literally just still. I mean, what, what are we having? What's in here? And now we've got some rotten tea bags. <laughs> LPG tips. Absolutely crazy. And as I said, like when you move anything, you see like just the dust. So you can see they've just not been moved. This needs more than flashing here. No. Again, look at the chain of cobwebs just hanging down. This is a complete time capsule. This place. And this place, time stood still. This is mad, when you feel like that you've done it and you've seen it all, as I said earlier, you just literally come across more. I mean, batteries, Duracell. That looks kind of weird, because they normally have Duracell written on the packet. There's nothing on them. Oh, I love this, look at this. So there's another little hob bit, right next to the cooker. The tea towel. Did they ever even finish cooking? So guys, anyone wants to come around for dinner, I will literally cook you up something what we've got here. We've got a nine-year-old apple juice. We've got 
13 year old Marmite. <laughs> so literally we can bust, we can make you something to eat, it's not a problem. But look at how nature's literally just panning, popping through the window. Guys, it's like exciting, I'm literally so excited. When I walk around these places, I know I've got the wrong dust mask on, I know you're all gonna be like, that's a load of rubbish, but listen, the reason I go to these places, because I absolutely love it. And I want to show you guys these places because to me, I get so excited, honestly. It's like Christmas coming into some mouldy house, but I actually absolutely love it. Anyway, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So literally walking up the corridor now. You can see the, like the vaulted ceilings here as well. This is mad. This is my beautiful rod. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> it's really weird, guys. It's second explorer day, and I've managed to find this man on the same explorer. Are you following me? You followed me. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> we've, got, we've got to make it. You follow me. <laughs> so, guys, check out Exploring Rod Instagram. That is Exploring Rod. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah, exploring underscore with underscore rod. Guys, check him out. He takes some great photos, and we're going to obviously, hopefully, collab a lot more. We will, buddy. Are you coming to Belgium? I'm there. Mate. He's coming to Belgium. I'm there. So I would go in here at the moment, but I think John's doing a little strip. Oh, do you want five minutes on your own? <laughs> <laughs> so we come back to this room. We've got to take pictures. So the further we go down to this place, as you can see, the ceiling up there is completely just coming down. It's absolutely rotten. And I keep saying that word. The amount of stuff here, like, I would love to be able to come in here and just literally go through here and see what history still lies in this place. You just see like, how long it's been empty. Look at the dust on top of the bulbs. And there's little, the cobwebs everywhere. This is absolutely mad, guys. Imagine that roaring fire in here, sitting in here. All the children all playing because obviously this was used as a, uh, a school, it's a schoolhouse, as we said earlier. Like the beautiful candle holders, all the musical instruments, they probably still work as well. Everything, no, maybe not. And then the flute, I don't want to put my mouth around that, so if you can see that, like, all the flutes and stuff, everything. Guys, I just keep getting excited. I'm really excited about this. Oh, look at this. Everything's literally just sat here. Everything's just stood still. Can you imagine the roar and fire, that's what I said earlier. I mean, how many vintage vinyls are just literally sitting in this box, decaying away? What is this? More records, guys. Completely wrong. And I'm loving the old box. Look, eggs fragile. So everything was reused years ago, and that's what I like. I even work out what some of these are. My favourite fairy stories, classics. Shut this cupboard up and leave those. It's absolutely mad. There's so much stuff. The way the time. That's what I keep saying, but it's like it is like in a magic time capsule. Oh, look at it, this is so mad. And as you can see, look, nature's literally just busting its way through. These doors that haven't been opened, they're just literally not. That would be your backyard or the kids' playing area. There's a little wheelbarrow down there, look, completely taken. The guys just still in this room. Look at the old music, the old uh, records, masters of music and stuff. So many old vintage records literally just decaying. Why? Wow, look at the old school, the old seats, the seats, the old twin chairs.
it was like a school of music. <laughs> Who remembers these as kids? <laughs> so many little instruments. Guys, this place is literally crazy though, honestly. So according to things I keep finding in there, this place has been empty for around about, I don't know, 10 years, but I would have said longer. I'm guessing it's not. Little workshops. The old tea bowels. That was an old engine there from a boat. Looks like it's been out of the water last, put there. Oh, look at this. It's absolutely mad. I'm going to head upstairs. You can see that, just the decay there though, look at it all. It's literally falling down this place. I mean this here, look, it's just you know flooring, just drops. You can see that, just have a little bookshelf, it's completely just leaning over now. It's about to fall. Recognise any of them books guys, if you can see them. Look at the book there, Grimm's Fairy Tales, illustrated. We're gonna head upstairs for now. Oh my God, guys, look at the unit. <laughs> the way it's just like buckling there, look at it. Look how pissed it is. <laughs> the way the ceiling's just literally coming down on this place. The top of the stairs. Do I do a left? Or do I do a right? Let's do a right. Bannon Explorer. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I'm going to these dusty houses for you. <laughs> Guys, look at this. It's like cobwebs. Look at it all draping on the ceiling like a sheet. So, oh wow, it's seeing some better days. You see the little units literally about to go. And the perfume and stuff. The sink. So much decay in this place. It stinks in there as well. Oh look, what the hell that is. That there. You can see all the way down. Absolutely mad. How cool does that look with the nature just sitting outside the window? Beds, paper, stuff left. And it just shows you how cold these places were. They needed the extra heaters and stuff in the rooms. Look at this glass is just left here. Absolutely mad. All this stuff's just left here. And look at nature, it's absolutely mad. So many clothes and memories just literally rotting away. Set stuff in here, guys. Explorers, the old gloves. <laughs> look at that. Very old, like, antique purse. Said the person must have been a diabetic because there's a glucose tester there. My first colours, 
examples. There's a lot of books and stuff up here. Oh wow, everything's just left. It's literally like they've just up and left. I mean, that's been empty, that shut away in here that long, it's literally, even the spider's completely rotted. This place has definitely seen better days. Who remembers the old tins? This is when Quality Street was Quality Street. Proper big tins. Some buttons again. Some books and pieces there. Yeah, we'll have a little note. It's a glucose tester again. Maybe like the first aid drawer. Here. Medical, it's all like a little medical drawer. Which would make sense right outside the ladies' room. It's definitely a lady. I found a picture in there. Guys, check this room out. So we just come out of here, obviously I took a left, a right at the top of the stairs, and went straight down the corridor. Mm -hmm. No way. Every room just seems to be getting better and better. Oh my God. Check this out. A little TV sitting there and the music notes. It's just absolutely mad. Obviously, that questions, exercise, theory of music, little watches. That time completely stops on both watches. More music books. Oh, wow, look at this. Size of strings, I never knew they were that thick. So what are they listening to? Or playing, should I say? There you go. So it's the piano. Look at that oil painting. It's beautiful. It'd be crazy if the TV just literally come on. Wow, I don't know if I should plug it in. Is it dangerous? Beautiful oil painting on TV. Crazy if it just came on. This is more newspapers. This is 1988, the Daily Telegraph. It doesn't work anyway. So there have been two people sharing this room. Look at the paintings and stuff. Oh my god, this is so exciting, honestly. I'm like a, I'm just like a child right now. There's sunglasses. Again, look at these. Been squashed. The old alarm clock. I bet this would still work if I wound it out. Definitely got to set this. The time is 
1713. Just gone quarter past five. She's ticking. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> it really is. Oh, this is mad. I'll come back in a minute when I check that time. memories and antiques and old pots, little dog, the typewriter. So abandoned world. <laughs> Explore. Oh ah, no. Can't hit the delete key that easy on that. <laughs> so that the time is actually working, so it's quarter past, which is right. Down this corridor. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I don't think we're alone. Who is it? Oh, is that John? Yeah, right. <laughs> 101 Christmas carols. Should we have a little sing? Nearly Christmas. I wish I could play that one instrument. And come ding dong merry merry high. Came upon midnight clear. Once in Royal David City. See? Quite popular. <laughs> hey? A holy ivy. I'm wearing a manger. Away in the manger. <laughs> I used to like that little song when I was a kid. I know the first line. Did you just play with you? All I want to do is play with you. Wow, look at this. Who wants to put a date on this typewriter? The point of the typewriter, that's even got the king, no, even late King George. No way. Yep. Wow. Clock. I don't really want to move it, but. What's time? I'll set the clock in that room there, see if it's still right time. <laughs> the two beds together, it's a little wind up clock. Look at this little old um, sewing machine. Oh, wow, this is what I love. Now, this is the sort of stuff that I feel like should be returned back to the owners. Look at this. I'll find out who they are. And this dog. I don't know how years that's been gone. Oh, look at the old car. This is history there. Look at that. It's so old. Look. Deforestation. The old trees. So many memories. Look at this. Wow. Let's see if my light looks better with it off. I think these people are probably long gone. The old cars. This is history just rotting, literally rotting. People's memories, maybe family, just literally sitting there. I'm going to put this, it was on the floor, but I'm going to put it in a drawer. So again upstairs, and you can see just how high everything's completely taken this place. There's like a bathroom window there. It's mad. And the clocks. Oh, it's a mad. This is the old airing cupboard. I reckon the central heater probably work in this place if there was water. 
again you see that just the amount of damage that's going to be done let the power and all it's absolutely crazy how this place is still who's paying the bills oh, wow look look at this I imagine this little girl obviously it's this lady grown up now bless her Maybe not here anymore. A little ballerina shoes, little gloves. Look at it all, just memories. People's families. And then you've got this man in the mirror. Hello. Got some books there. My head literally just keeps touching cobwebs in this place. It's so decayed. Just part of the bed there. The old hoovers. That's what I was saying here, look. There's an old hoover there. And the drawers are fortunately completely empty. I can't actually build a story in this room. I don't like going through drawers sometimes, but sometimes you have to, just to have a little look. Another room. So, Rod John, abandoned world explorer. <laughs> Dave. There you go. That's our little, little mark we've left. Look at all this. Corridor, an old radio. The old school desk. Look what's happened here, it's like it's just been yanked out. It's mad. It really is. I sound like the old vinyls. Queen, news of the world. So many let Queen. The life of Brian. <laughs> wow, look at all these. The old models. The car models. Motorbike models. This is absolutely mad. Why nature? Look, it's just up to the window level. This is absolutely crazy. This is like some little secret room behind. Doesn't feel safe whatsoever. Fire extinguishers. This room is, reminds me of like Aladdin, Aladdin's cave. <laughs> Look here. Wow. International football. The old game. <laughs> wow, there's so much stuff. Literally, I could just sit here and love to just go for it all. But the video would be hours long. The old lantern there hanging up. A record player. That's a beautiful painting. Absolutely beautiful. Or a print. stuff that she's just sitting here. Oh, look at the action man. He doesn't look too happy. His like helmet's melted to his head. Again a Commodore game. The amount of stuff. Look at it all. I could just keep saying this video the amount of stuff. Yeah, this is my old vintage boxing gloves. Again, an old convertible roof, hard top roof. That's something you don't see anymore, guys. They ever grew up in the 80s and 90s and the early 2000s, or the 2000s, there was no Toys R Us. There's no longer. Old Monopoly there. 
I'm guessing whatever car that was for, there's the soft top there. This is absolutely mad. But honestly, I could just video stuff all day and just show you this place. It's just so much stuff. It's literally, it is a, a massive time capsule. And it's completely stuck where whatever year it is. I'm gonna say 2010, it's like nine years. Absolutely mad. Guys walking around this place excites me as you probably heard. I probably sound like an absolute idiot, but honestly, places like this excite me. Seeing stuff completely frozen in time, absolutely amazing. Wow. It feels like it's longer than nine years. That's what we're finding at the moment. It's the latest thing I'm finding here. It's 2010. So, near on 10 years. So guys, lower level again. Let's try this room once more. I'm gonna put the light on in here because we can see this. Look at this decay. And books. completely rotten, white mould all over them. Look at the old school picture. I'm gonna put this up there. It's better than the floor. Yeah. Now this is the boy I think we see upstairs in that other picture. side is what I'm trying to say there's the old sewing machine box let's look at these look so decayed do I recognise any of these if you can read them Traveller in time. White shadows in South Sea. No price for freedom. War stories. The clocks. So many books. Literally just probably no good. Right. wheelchair again just loads more books the paint in the wall this is absolutely crazy this is truly a time capsule Who would have thought this was just literally tucked deep in the thick woods overgrown? With power still on. I mean, who's paying the bill? Who's paying it? So explorers, what's up? I'm back at the car. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I absolutely loved it in there, as you could tell probably from the video, because I sound like a bloody idiot. Like I was like this kid at a sweet shop, <laughs> but I was actually in an abandoned house. Um, Hope you like the t-shirt guys, <laughs> made for me. So anyway guys, please like and subscribe. If you like the videos, please check out the rest of my channel. Exploring Rod. underscore Rod. Yes, yeah. boy. You got and Exploring with John on Instagram and Morgan Shots. Yes, so guys, check them out. Morgan Instagram, Shots. YouTube and Instagram.
Soon to be it's YouTube. greedy, man. Soon to be a YouTuber. <laughs> You're going to be a YouTuber. <laughs> you know, you're not doing the stripping, are you? I'm not doing stripping. Just speaking, mate. So we're going to watch Rod strip. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so guys, if you want to see more adventures with us three, hit in the comments below if you like John Rod. And obviously, we're going to plan a lot more, as we said. Hopefully, we're going to hit Belgium soon. Um, possibly Wales, Scotland. I've got a few more lined up as well that I'm going to hopefully amaze these. But yeah, guys, stay tuned for next ones. Remember, hit that like and subscribe.